Hello, and welcome to the International House. My name is Amanda Zutmulder. I'm a senior mass media major and study abroad alumni. During my studies, I traveled to Japan and Cuba. My journey began at the International House, home of Washburn University's Office of International Programs. This unique structure, located in the center of campus, was built in 1930 by Washburn College President Dr. Parley Wilmer and his wife, Mrs. Verna Wilmer. Dr. Wilmer served as president from 1915 to 1931. During the 16 years he was president, he spent much of his time traveling and seeking financial aid for the development of Washburn. It was during his presidency that Whitting Fieldhouse, Moore Bowl, Mulvane Art Museum, and Benton Hall were constructed. In addition to these campus buildings, the Wilmers had this home built for their family residence. The home's design was inspired by a trip the Wilmers made to California where they were charmed by a Spanish-style hotel in which they stayed. In 1969, the home became a part of the university. In addition to the growth of campus structures, Dr. Wilmer founded the Academic Department of American Citizenship. One of the first departments of its kind in the United States, he continued as a professor of American citizenship and public affairs until 1939. Dr. Wilmer's interest and participation in international affairs is reflected today in the use of the Wilmer Home as the Office of International Programs. The Office of International Programs is the Center for Global Education on the Washburn University campus. It provides educational services for Washburn students, both international and domestic. International students at Washburn receive services such as admissions and academic advising through the International Student Services area. Washburn students interested in studying, traveling, and living in destinations around the world can find opportunities through the study abroad area. The intensive English program provides English language instruction for beginning and advanced English learners. To support these areas, the Office of International Programs work with numerous local and global organizations through international community outreach. Washburn's international education programs have enjoyed rapid growth and success over the years thanks to visionary pioneers such as the program founders and its early directors. Many friends have also stepped forward and helped fund the programs that allow students to have once-in-a-lifetime global education experiences. My name is Guo Shui. I'm a junior year English literature major and an international student from China. My name is David Kimbet. I'm a sophomore Kimo Justice major and international student from Kenya. Washburn has enjoyed the presence of international students for many years. Students from around the world bring international and cross-cultural perspective to our campus and enhance our intellectual and cultural environment. The class of 2019 had a total of 287 international students from 35 different countries. To introduce you to some of the destinations where our international students come from, let's play a game. Where in the world are Ikabas from? Guess which countries our international students at Washburn University come from. Which country is this? It's made up of 6,852 islands, and it's the highest point in Mount Fuji. If you guess Japan, you are correct. Washburn Japanese students represent the largest group of international students on campus. Washburn has an exchange program with several universities in Japan. Washburn's longest running exchange is with Fukuhuku University for over 40 years. Washburn and Fukuhuku have worked together to promote international education and have hosted over 1,000 students on exchange programs. In recent years, Washburn has developed an international summer institute for Japanese students with courses in English languages and American culture. Can anyone guess where this is? It has the largest population in the world with 1.4 billion people. It also has the largest man-made structure in the world, stretching an incredible 5,500 miles, known as the Great Wall. If you guessed China, you are correct. Most Washington Chinese students attend for a semester or year and some stay to complete their degrees. Washburn has many partner universities in China that facilitate these international education programs. Can you guess where this is? 95% of the country is considered a desert or semi-desert, and it, is, it has the most oil of any places in the world. Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, to be exact. Many of Washburn Saudi, Saudi students receive general scholarship to study anywhere in the world and they choose to come to Kansas. Many of these Saudi students have attended nearby institutes 
and transferred to Washburn because they find the students and faculty he as kind and that the classes are high quality. Can you guess this last one? This is a photo from the capital of Kathmandu. This country shows Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. It's the country of Nepal, located between China and India in the Himalayan mountains. Notice, anything different about the flag of Nepal. It is the only non-rectangular flag in the world. The two points represent Nepal's mountains region. If you get a chance to make a friend for Nepal, they are very kind and love life at Washburn. What it is like to be international students at Washburn? Some of our international friends have made videos to share a little about themselves and their home country with you. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jiayi and I am from China. I am a sophomore in Washburn studying accounting. So throughout this video, I am going to tell you something about China and about myself through answering some questions. So the first question is, uh, where are you from and what it is like over there? So there are three things about China I want you to know. First of all, we are big, which is mean we have lots of people. We have around 1.395 billion people and you can imagine the traffic jam every morning. And second of all, we have a long history, which is 5,000 years. And third of all, we have a wonderful Chinese food I think you guys all like. And you have to go there one day to eat it um, yourself. And second question is, uh, what is the most significant difference between university in my home country and uh, over here? I would say not much because uh, like in China, we maybe focus more on the academic success and over here we focus on a majority kind of things like internship or campus activities. And um, the next question is, what do you hope to experience you doing your study over here? Um, I just hope I can get good grades and also make some more friends. But last but not least, have fun and because it, it is important to have fun. And the next question is, Mm. What is the biggest challenge you face as an international student studying abroad? I would say uh, it will be languages for me because I came here as a high school student in a young age so my English wasn't perfect and why Americans should make friends with international students? Well, it's easy. You can experience a different culture close to home. They are bringing their own culture to you so you don't have to travel far. So the next question is why it is so important for us to go study abroad and then expose in different culture. I mean, for me personally, it makes me more confident because I know I can do more things and then I believe in myself some more. And also I learned another language fluently, uh, which is English. And now I have the confidence to learn some more languages. I'm recently learning Japanese now, so I'm really happy. And um, I think another important reason is because it can really change your life and change the point of view, how you look at the whole world and you will be a completely different person. So I hope you enjoying this video and I hope I can help you to learn more about China or other country. So thank you for watching and have a good day. I was majoring in computer science uh, when I was going to Washburn University. I I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Democratic Republic of Congo is a very diverse country in terms of uh, culture. Uh, there are so many tribes, so many languages spoken down there. Uh, different groups of people live down there. Um, there are people from the United States, people from uh, European countries, people from Asian countries. So people from pretty much people from all over the world. So whenever you come home, you will always feel at ease. Um, the Democratic Republic of Congo is nothing close to what the media portrays. It's beautiful, it's joyful, it's loud, it's fun, and uh, so many things to do. The most significant difference between uh, university in my home country and Washburn is that uh, professors at Washburn are very, very concerned about their students' uh, success. You know, back in my home country, it's just uh, professors are there to teach and uh, it's up to the students to uh, become successful and learn the, 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 the material 
and understand it by themselves. So uh, they're very busy and I would say it's very challenging uh, going to college back in my home country. The biggest challenge I faced as an international student studying abroad was definitely language. You know, at the beginning, it was so hard for me to keep up with the pace at which uh, Americans speak or, in general, uh, understand uh, the, the, some, some of the idioms used uh, on a daily basis uh, in the English language. The reason why I think Americans should be friends with uh, international students is that, uh, you know, we're here to learn and uh, having that American friend will always help uh, or who knows maybe you'll come to our home countries and will be of great help when you come visit globalism and diversity are so important because they increase your uh, awareness of uh, the differences between cultures uh, you become less judgmental and more appreciative of uh, the differences uh, in the other person and, um, you know, they, they, they help you understand that there's more to discover than just you and uh, your own world. Hi, my name is Yue. I am an art major student with emphasizing painting and drawing. I am from Chengdu City, Sichuan Province, China. Uh, my hometown is a really beautiful place with good transportation and it's also famous for food. I think the most significant difference between the universities in China and Washburn is students in China, they have to decide the major before they start university. While in Washburn, you can experience different courses and decide your major later. During my studies here, I hope to learn American cultures as well as other cultures. And I want to make friends from different backgrounds and learn from them. I think the biggest challenge for me is the language. Learning things in second language can be really tough. The reasons why American students should make friends with international students is because you can really open your eyes and be more open-minded when you have friends from different backgrounds and you can learn a new view to see things in the world. And also, you can reach your experience by making friends from different countries. I think globalism and diversity are important. It's because they provide you new perspectives to see things in the world. And you can also understand other people's behavior by learning, what, by learning their culture and their backgrounds. So I think we should really value globalism and diversity, and make friends with international students. As you can see, international students have a lot of challenges that they must face studying in another country with a new language and education system. With so many international students on the Washburn campus, it's possible to learn about another country and culture without even leaving campus. It's an excellent opportunity for you to make friends with international students and to make them feel at home here while learning about a new culture. Like Bennett said, who knows, someday maybe you will go to visit your international friend in their country. Each semester, the International Club hosts events to celebrate the cultures of our international students as well as our American culture. These celebrations are generally free and open to the public, so we hope you will join and uh, meet Washburn students from all around the world through social events on the Washburn campus. Find us on Facebook at Washburn University Office of International Programs. Besides the opportunities to connect with international students on campus, students also can travel and participate in study abroad programs ranging in length from one week to one year. Scholarships are available and financial aid can be applied to assist with the cost of your education abroad. The top three destinations for U.S. study abroad students are the United Kingdom, Italy, and Spain. Washburn offers 25 exchange programs and works with partners, affiliates, and program providers to provide opportunities in these destinations and many more around the world. 
Europe hosts over half of U.S. study abroad students, Washburn has 10 exchange partners in Europe and numerous other program opportunities through affiliate universities and program providers to match students' personal interests and academic needs. Students have many different areas of study to choose from when selecting their study abroad program. Washburn offers 40 programs taught in English around the world in academic areas such as social sciences, business and management, humanities, fine arts, education, engineering, and foreign languages. Speaking of foreign languages, it is not necessary to speak a foreign language to participate and study abroad. In most programs, courses are taught in English even though English may not be the host country's language. We are fortunate that English is spoken around the world and many campuses offer academic programs in English to accommodate international students on their campuses. Study abroad programs vary and most of the Washburn study abroad participants select short-term programs over the summer, ranging in length from 10 days to two weeks. These programs tend to be more affordable and workable around students' busy schedules. The most popular type of programs at Washburn are short-term faculty-led programs. Washburn faculty develop and lead programs to over a dozen different destinations each year. The program fees generally include all transportation, activities, and accommodations. If it is your first time traveling internationally, traveling with a faculty leader and group of your peers is a great way to learn and explore. Another option is a semester abroad through one of our exchange partners. Washburn has partnerships around the world with over 25 university partners. Exchanges allow you to pay Washburn tuition, apply for a scholarship to help pay for the cost of travel, leaving you with only room and board expenses. Popular destinations include Europe, Asia, and Latin America. If you are not able to find a program that meets your specific personal interests and academic needs through one of the faculty-led programs or exchange programs, another option for you to consider is an independent program, working with an affiliate or a program provider. These programs offer maximum flexibility to choose your specific destination and academic area. To find out about these options and more, visit the Washburn Study Abroad website at washburn.studioabroad.com. There, you will find information about getting started, searching for programs, scholarship information, financial aid, and more. To see where in the world Ichabods have traveled, you can visit our Facebook page, Washburn University Study Abroad. You can also visit the Washburn Study Abroad website where we have award-winning photography and photo essays from former study abroad students. Featured in the Study Abroad Photo Essay Contest archives are students like Shelby Hansen, who spent her spring semester on an exchange program at Arebo University in Arebro, Sweden. Shelby credits her study abroad experience with providing her the opportunity to experience things that she never would have otherwise, such as ice climbing on a frozen waterfall, cliff jumping, as well as jumping from a sauna into a frozen lake in winter. She explored different cities and had fun learning how to travel and grocery shop in another language. Shelby titled her photo essay, The Pain That Comes With Studying Abroad. She explained that the pain you experience comes from the inevitable end of your journey. She never expected to grow so close to people she met abroad and never, suspe never suspected that it would be so hard to leave her host country. She is looking forward to more journeys abroad in her future. Another student featured in the archives is Sarah Schling. Sarah participated in a short-term summer tropical ecology program at Veritas University in San Jose, Costa Rica. Sarah titled her photo essay, The Pure Life, which is the English translation for a popular Costa Rican phrase, Pura Vida. It was one of the first phrases she heard after stepping off the plane, and now she holds those words forever in her heart as a reminder of her time in Costa Rica. For Sarah, Pura Vida encompasses all the memories she made, people she met, lessons she learned, and sights she saw. In Sarah's words, it means trying new things like waterfall rappelling, snorkeling, white water rafting, and banana boating. It means exploring the jungle with my professor and classmates, finding frogs and insects I never dreamed existed, and waking up at dawn to bird watch in the cloud forest. Sarah said, Pura Vida will always be the phrase that reminds her that she had the most unforgettable and amazing time in Costa Rica. There are many more amazing photos and essays to read in the photo essay archives. Another way students share their experiences abroad is through Instagram takeovers. Students select one day of their journey to take over the Washburn social media Instagram account and share what a day in the life of a study abroad student is like. Through these brief snapshots and clips, students can take a quick trip to Japan with nursing students or to Columbia with social work students and see some of the highlights of just one of their adventure-filled days. 
To find out more about how you can study abroad or how you can connect with international students, contact us at studyabroad at washburn.edu or international at washburn.edu and visit our Facebook pages for current events and activities.